सब्सक्राइब नाउ एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन नेवर मिस एन अपडेट और दिस इज एन फिक्शन वेलकम टू माय मैथमेटिक्स क्लास लेट्स सी द टुडे टॉपिक सो वी हैव टुडे लॉज ऑफ अल्जेब्रा ऑफसेट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इंक्लूजन एंड इक्वलेटरलाइजेशन दीस आर द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इंक्लूजन एंड इक्वलेटरलाइजेशन and uh, how to prove okay these equilateral relation inclusion and equilateral relation let's see okay i will tell you and i will make you uh, very easy for you right so let's see everybody okay before going to proof uh, of these you know, properties first of all okay we should know the key points first of all okay very important you okay, said to be subset of b this is the definition of subset this is the definition of subset and a definition of subset so here it's going to be crucial uh, to understand uh, all these properties if we know the definition of the subset a is said to be subset of b subset of b if every element of a is also an element of b and it is denoted by like this way okay and we read okay a subset of b for example okay if we have a 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 within a back back curly brackets and uh, set b is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 uh, okay so up to 5 enough okay here if we observe these two sets right so you can find out okay 1 2 3 4 here also 1 2 3 4 okay every element of a One, these are the elements okay one is element of a two is element of a three is element of a four is the element of a every element of a is also an element of b so see one is the element of b two is also element of b three is also element of b four is also element of b in this case b can say a is subset of b all right so i guess now you understood okay what do uh, what is the uh, meaning of subset right so when we can say one set is the subset of another set right so this is the important definition okay uh, suppose if we have x and y and when we can say x subset of y if every element of x okay if every element of uh, x uh is also an element of y right so every element is going to be uh found in y right so all right okay sir and second okay second property second key points <coughs> sorry a and b are equal sets they are subset of each other right and that is a is equal to b uh if and only if what is the meaning of this one yeah, here also i will meaning of this sign okay with a uh, two way implication we can say two way or uh, implication this sign two way implication here but we read okay like this way uh, if and only if if and only if so, so once again i'm going to read for you a and b are equal if and only if. if and only if this sign is read as if and only if they are subset of each other okay that is a is equal to b if and only if a subset of b and b subset of a see uh in terms of set they okay a is equal to 1 2 3 b having okay elements 1 2 3 now we can say a and b are equal okay here because okay both have same elements same number of elements and same elements okay right same elements simply same elements okay we can say they are equal all right they are equal but okay in the okay sense of okay subsets what we can say this because every element of a is also element of b every element of b is also element of a that's why we can say a subset of b and b is subset of a right so a is equal to b if and only if if a is subset of b and b is subset of a so okay so i think you are in confusion why we have written here if and only if 
Okay? If and only, what is the meaning of if and only? It means if, if A is equal to B, then they are subset of each other. If they are subset of each other, then they are equal. Okay? If A and B are subset of each other, then they are equal. Right? Let me show you. Let me uh, explain here. A is equal to B if and only if A subset of B and B subset of A. So what do you mean by this one? If and only if meaning, okay, right? A is equal to B, then A subset of B and B subset of A. And also, if A subset of B and B subset of A, then we can say A and B are equal. This is the meaning of if and only if, right? So, <clears throat> and third, third property here we need, okay? Phi is subset of every set, uh, set okay? Right? So, we consider, okay, hypothetically, Phi is a subset of every set, all right? So every set, okay, we suppose, okay, phi is available in every set, okay. So this is by hypothetically, phi is the subset of every set, okay. So these properties, if we know, okay, at least, okay, these three key points, then we can do very easily, uh, okay, proofs of these properties, right. So let's move into the proofs, okay, how to prove, okay, and what are the properties of inclusion and equality relation, uh, so I guess you all are understood, okay? Uh, okay, you all have understood these are key points. Now I'm going to explain all these things uh, because uh, definitely you know I need a space, okay? I need space. That's why I'm going to explain all these things and then I'll start to write down all these things, okay? So these key points once again, see, you know? all right. So I guess. You are clear about all these key points. So once again, I repeat. Uh, look at you, everybody. The number one is subset of B. These are the properties of inclusion and equilateral relation. Number one is subset of B here. A subset of B and B subset of C. Then implies A subset of C. Meaning of this one, if we have a, these two things, if A subset of B and B subset of C, then we can say A subset of C. Okay? And so on. And second, if A is equal to B, then we can say B is equal to A. Right? Here A, B, C are the subsets of a universal set. Right? And if A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then we have to show okay, A is equal to C. And the last one, if A is subset of phi, then implies A is equal to phi. Right? So this shows that if any set is subset of empty set, then that set is empty, right? Okay, so let's start now. I'm going to tell you the proof of first. First and the proof. Listen to me. We have to prove this one. A subset of C. These things are given, okay? These things are given, okay? A subset of B given. B subset of C given. But we have to prove A subset of C. So how to prove it? Okay. So once again, I'm just uh, reminding you the definition of subset. Listen to me. Okay. A subset of C. When we can say A is the subset of C. If every element of A is also an element of C. Then only we can say subset of C. Right? A subset of C. So let's suppose, okay. Or let X be the... element of a so we have to suppose okay x is the general element of a right so general element okay then if x is the element of a we have suppose then we can write symbolically x belongs to a because we have suppose x is the x be the element of a then symbolically we can write down like this way x belongs to a so so definitely i'm going to make you very easy so go through each and every okay, second of this video, all right? Okay, x belongs to a, x belongs to a here, and implies, now I'm going to write down, x belongs to b, okay? So how can we, now, now you have to see the given thing, a is subset of b, means every element of a is also element of b. So this means, okay, x is the element of a, this means, okay, x is also element of b, here you can write down, okay? Since, okay, or uh, since your A subset of B, right? We have supposed, okay, your X is element of A, 
गिवन हो गया ए सबसेट ऑफ बी दिस मींस हो गया एक्स इज आल्सो एलिमेंट ऑफ बी और इंप्लाइज सो अगेन सेकंड थिंग इज आल्सो गिवन हो गया बी सबसेट ऑफ सी इफ एक्स इज द एलिमेंट ऑफ बी देन इट शुड बी द एलिमेंट ऑफ सी बाय डेफिनेशन सो इंप्लाइज वी कैन राइट आवर एक्स बिलोंग्स टू सी एंड यस सिंस यू मे राइट आवर दिस सिंस लाइक दिस वे सिंस ऑफ बी सबसेट ऑफ सी ओके so now look at here actually okay x is the x is the element of a now okay by few steps within few steps we came to know x is also element of c right so now we can say okay right so therefore a is subset of c okay understood or not a is subset of c because x is the element of c actually x is the element of a then b proved okay x is also the element of c from this step we can say okay a subset of c right so finally you can say okay right so finally okay you can say if okay uh, a subset of b and b subset of c and uh, then we can write down okay a subset of c this thing we can say now right we have no problem to say this one right if a subset of b b subset of c then definitely we can have a subset of c okay so first one clear uh so now let's see the second one second one is also easy very easy where is a is equal to b implies we can write down a subset of b and b subset of c so sorry b subset of a right according to the second uh, key points as i told you if two sets are okay equal then they are subset of each other right a subset of b and b subset of c so according okay here so according to this line we can write down okay we have no problem so order doesn't matter right here order doesn't matter either you may write down a subset of b or and b subset of a or you may write down okay like this so imply b subset of a and okay a subset of b because here order is not going to be matter right so okay uh so all right here order doesn't matter so that's why we have written like this where b subset of a and a subset of b so according to this we can write down okay b is equal to a right as we know okay uh, as you know right okay uh, a is equal to b or uh, if and only if a subset of b and uh, b subset of a we have used okay this property using this property we can show that if a is equal to b uh, then we can say b is equal to a right it's common right so everyone can say but okay in terms of set we can prove like this right uh okay mm, so i think you have no problem in these two properties now i'm going to <coughs> uh expand all these things from the whiteboard because i need space hmm. i'm going to explain next one third one this one third third one uh, okay listen to me everybody a is equal to b b is equal to c both are given both are these okay these things are given a is equal to b b is equal to c and implies a subset of c we need to prove a is equal to c okay a is equal to c so listen to me everybody okay so if they are subset if we are successful to prove a subset of c and c subset of a then we can say they are equal then these two sets are equal we can say right so we will go okay with this concept <coughs> or let x be the element of a then x belongs to a because x we have supposed okay element of a then uh, we can write down okay x is equal to a or uh, implies x belongs to b because okay a is equal to b okay these two sets are equal a is equal to b uh, given now uh, then we can write down if x is the element of a definitely okay x will be the element of b uh, implies x belongs to c uh, since b is equal to c b is equal to c so if x belongs to b then definitely uh, it will belong to c because they are equal now see element of a also will okay right right uh, belonging to c this means okay therefore we can write down 
a subset of c c the first right so from these steps okay from these steps uh, we prove a subset of c we prove element of a is also an element of c so again again uh, let let's let's take another one y be the sorry a y be the element of uh, c then we can write down y belongs to c implies y belongs to b because of b is equal to c right and uh, y belongs to a since uh, a is equal to b if any element belongs to b then definitely that will belong to a also because they are equal a and b so from here so see why be the element of c we suppose do okay, why element of c now we can say every element of c is also an element of a this means c subset of a one thing okay here let's suppose this one is a second relation and for okay from first and second we say a subset of c c subset of a so okay i'm writing here uh, from first and second we can say okay a is equal to c a is equal to c from these two relations we can say from first and second we can write down a is equal to c because they are subset of each other right uh, so if any two sets are subset of each other then definitely they will be equal to each other right okay then last one is very easy so here a subset given okay just okay how to prove look at here uh, a given okay we have given a subset of phi 1 so we know hypothetically phi is subset of a uh, sorry phi is subset of a so okay uh, even write like this if you want to write down reason you can write uh, phi is the subset of every set right since phi is this so that's why we have written okay phi subset of a or we know or simply this one is the second first relation and second relation and uh, from one and two from okay one and two we can write down a is equal to phi because both are subset of each other right so that's why they are equal right a subset of phi both are subset of each other right both are subset of each other then we can write down a is equal to phi i guess uh, all you understood how to prove uh, these properties okay uh, properties of inclusion and equality relation uh, so next time we will come up okay uh, with next properties right uh, so we have in laws of algebra set uh, properties of uh, unions, properties of uh, intersections, and uh, some distributive properties. Okay, uh, I'll make you very easy for you, right? So always stay with my channel. So thank you very much for watching this video. So see you again very soon. Stay at home, okay, and stay healthy. Okay, have a wonderful time. Bye bye.